So guys, today we're going to be talking about my April 2017 everyday carry. And this is the conglomerate just throwing all together, just a big pile of all my gear that I'm carrying for everyday carry for April. Without further ado, let's get started. Well, let's get into this. So the elephant in the room or the largest piece here and I had to move away some of the stuff so I can more properly go through this but the largest piece in the kit is my gun and for this gun I am carrying a Glock 21. <laughs> there goes my watch. Hilarious but uh, I'm carrying a Glock 21 for this and I cannot carry the Glock 21 every day and I don't carry it every day. Uh, that's kind of why for a long time I've hesitated putting it in to an EDC Being a college video, student, I can't always have this on me. About the and UAF the is uh, with their anti-gun rules. It's really weird. So you can have guns on the campus itself, but pretty much every single building there, especially all the buildings that you take courses at, are, are gun restricted zones. So essentially, you can have a gun on campus, but you can't actually have one in any of the buildings. So that's why you know realistically, if you were to go to the UAF to take classes, you really couldn't have a gun or carry a gun with Why, you. you know, I kind of rotate it in and out when I can have it. I definitely have it, but when I can't, I don't. So, it's a little unfortunate, but that's the current situation with the gun. Once again, this is a Glock 21, fully loaded. Uh, these are some custom loads, but I generally carry Hornady, uh, what is it, Hornady something i think it's hsts maybe it's hsts i forget but they're the really specialty rounds they're really awesome but anyways that's the gun running no extra mag for this because i'm carrying a lot of other gear and right now at the moment i can't easily integrate another mag unless we're to throw it into a pocket which i really hate to the watch that was rolling all around here is the timex expedition sierra i'm going to be having a review out on this soon but this is the watch i've been rocking for ever really since january i've been really enjoying it really great watch and i really have been loving this one i think for the price point it's actually a great watch uh but i will be going over that more in a, its own review video but anyways that is the watch for april so the next parts are kind of just other gear and this is what i tend to carry in more of my lower pockets on my car hearts uh, and so the first one is a sharpie i've been carrying a sharpie for quite some time i really like having a sharpie as a part of the gear it is a really great permanent marker i find it to work really well i've been working a lot in the shop doing a lot of stuff with kydex and been marking it up with uh, sharpies so i find that it works really great and it's very nice it's to a have Fisher space uh, pen this is a great pen and do expect a review on this soon as well i've been really enjoying the, this fisher space pen i think these are the most underrated edc pens really out there at the moment they are really great pens and i really love the fisher space pen uh, ink cartridge is a very great cartridge so the next part here is uh, lip balm and I'm running Burt's Bees pomegranate. This may sound funny, but I actually really love the pomegranate uh, flavor. I think it's one of the best flavors. And if I had to recommend one, I would definitely recommend pomegranate. It is great, trust me guys. Plus Burt's Bees is all natural and it's very, very nice. So once again, that's what I'm running for lip balm. So the next thing, and I changed this one up, this one's new for this month and I'm actually going to be switching it next month because uh, April is kind of our transition month where we begin to transition into uh, more of summer carry. So this month is going to be the last month for at least for quite a few months that I'm going to be running a real heavy duty powerful flashlight. But this is the uh, Innova TS I believe or no it's maybe it's the T2. I think it's the T2. Sorry if I misquoted that. But you can see they're super bright. I think it's around 360 60 lumens on the bright mode and then of course it has three different modes and those are the modes so there's really bright medium low and i really like that there's also nice course, really enjoying this <laughs> really powerful upgrade from my previous uh what is it the streamlight protac 2l and it runs the same amount of batteries as the protac 2l does if i can open this fast for you guys uh, it's just running two cr123s you can also run a rechargeable 18650 in this i believe i'm pretty sure you can uh 
but that's what I'm running for the flashlight now. Like I said, super happy to have something that's quite a bit more powerful. Once again, on the same batteries, burning the same batteries. So really crazy, but awesome flashlight. Really enjoying that. And then once again, like I said, this is a more transitional month. And so I'm beginning to start to get into sunglasses. And especially since we're starting to have more daylight, like now we actually have more than 12 hours of daylight. So now I'm actually finding a good excuse to really bring these out. Of course, are my good old Oakley radar locks. And I really love the radar locks. They're one of my favorite designs. And I don't know about you guys, but I always have having this big, like just one essential piece of glass here, if you will. Uh, I've always really loved that look. And I think especially paired with a nice hat, these uh, glasses just look so freaking awesome. I love this kind of gunmetal gray and white that this has so these are my glasses and i'll be rocking these pretty much all summer starting Into with this fire month. lighting and knives so for fire lighting i'm carrying two different things one of course a zippo this is just my standard street zippo very quintessential hopefully you guys can see that flame there you go uh, running a zippo just a standard zippo just a beater that i use and abuse quite frequently it's a definite in the pocket carry so for another alternative means of starting fire i'm also rocking an Exotac Nano Striker XL on a neck lanyard. So those are my two fire starting methods. I like to have the two it different styles. Or most importantly, should the lighter run out of fluid, I have a backup, the ferro rod. It's very great and I know it'll always work. Now on to knives. So with knives, pretty basic. I'm just rocking two uh, folders the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 and the Chris Reeves Sabenza Large Sabenza 21 in Singo. Then for a neck knife, I'm running the Mora Eldris. Really love the Mora Eldris. It's a great craft knife. And once again, when I'm doing a lot of things in the shop and working with plastics and when stuff. I'm in the shop and I'm working with lots of plastics and stuff, this is a really great knife to just pull out and just kind of like quickly trim something really fast. I really love it for that. Plus it's the convenience of being a neck carry. This knife has literally been an everyday carry uh, ever since I got it and I think you guys can see pretty well that this thing's pretty you know beat up there's a bit of scuffing on it and uh, lots of use especially on the blade and on the handles so it's definitely seeing a lot of use hopefully you guys can see that the camera doesn't always like to show that so really love the more Eldris and I will be having a review coming eventually on that and then of course for multi-tools the Victorinox Classic SD is primarily what I carry for multi-tools once again an excellent tiny little multi-tool really great kind of winding it down to more of the clothing accessories and stuff like that so still running the off, recycled still firefighter uh, wallet i think this is the sergeant and uh by the way just wanted to show you guys my new business card so if you guys order any more orders or any new orders from my company this is the new business card you guys will be getting hopefully you like this it might be a little bit hard to see stuff because it's really far away from the camera but anyways that is the wallet that is the new business card for those who are interested definitely going to like out to get one of these new business cards i think they came out really awesome but <laughs> bigger thing is this is this recycled firefighter sergeant wallet still running it really don't want to change it because it's still tech, really awesome. still running the htc 1m9 here but of course as in recent i have been playing around with a lot of different kydex phone case designs this is the newest one i'm thinking about working with and maybe releasing pretty soon this is a prototype of it and it's gonna be called the journeyman and i really like what i've done with this one instead of the normal one which you guys can go check out uh, which is a sanctified survival case this one actually now has hooks uh, down here to hook into the phone and instead of having a large hump for survival necessities it just has a flat back so it's uh, far more better and easier to carry uh, not to say that the sanctified survival case is not like it's hard to carry because it really isn't but this one's easier to carry because it has a flat back and once again just kind of want to play around with more designs and this is in flat dark earth which is one of my personal favorite colors i really love Des or flat dark earth and like desert so that's why i went with this entire theme of like desert and flat dark earth 
Really love the way this came out. Uh, but definitely go check out the Sanctified Survival case if you guys are interested in Kydex phone cases. Right now, I'm the only one that makes Kydex phone cases. I've done a lot of research, and I'm the only one that I can personally find that makes Kydex phone cases. So if you want the one and only Kydex phone cases being made, check out the description below. I'll have a link to my company where you guys can get them. So the next thing is a bandana, and of course it's just a quintessential green bandana. Great for tons of different things, and love having it. So just a cotton bandana, not much to it. So the next thing are just a couple bracelets, and these are what I'm currently rocking. This is a dragon teeth uh, bracelet. A lot of people really like this design. I really like this design as well. It's very awesome. And then I'm just running one of my first, this is actually my first successful sanctified, a baby sanctified weave that I ever did. So really awesome. I really do love that weave. And you guys can see there is tons of use on this thing. It looks really dirty. And I'm kind of the person that does not like to clean these bracelets because I think it adds a really nice character and story to the bracelets and it helps really remind you of just all the adventures that it's been on and everything so very first uh, baby sanctified that looked correct and like was correct and like I said pretty old it's now around two years old so it's pretty old but it's really awesome so if you guys also want paracord bracelets go check out the link in the description below that will be my company where i also aside from being the only one making kayaks phone cases i'm not the only one that makes bracelets out of paracord but i definitely do that as well it has been the overlook of all my edc for the month of April 2017. Hope you guys have enjoyed that. As always, don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, and that's it for now. I'm out.